السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو دا ایس ای ڈبلو بریک ویڈیو آئی ہیو کنیکٹیڈ دا بریک فریکشنل کوائل اینڈ ایکسلیٹنگ کوائل وتھ دا ریکٹیفائر سو ایز یو کین سی ہیئر دا ریڈ ون از آن پن نمبر تھری دا وائٹ وائر آف دا کوائل از آن پن نمبر ون اینڈ بلو وائر از آن دا پن نمبر فائیو so uh, white and red white and red is accelerating coil first uh, when we supply to this rectifier then for the first uh, 150 or 120 millisecond uh, the supply goes to the uh, white and red uh, which is accelerating coil which is actually uh, the main function of this is to uh, is to latch the brake uh, very quickly because uh, accelerating coil have less resistance and uh, uh, and gain more current so uh, quick ele- uh, quick electromagnetic form and uh, which uh, actually latch the brake very quickly after 120 millisecond uh, the accelerating coil plus fractional coil get the supply uh, which uh, increase the resistance of the coil and reduce the current which uh, help to uh, uh, minimize the thermal level of the brake because it is getting less current uh, and also increase the rela- uh, life of the brake also the main purpose of uh, this b- uh, uh, fractional coil is when we want to uh, dislatch the brake and we disconnect the supply uh, then due to the uh, resistance uh, it uh, it due to the high resistance of the coil it actually uh, dislatch very quickly so it demagnetize very quickly so this is the main function of the accelerate these are the main function of the accelerating coil and the fractional coil so now moving to the uh, brake parts so first of all we will see the coil this part this upper part is the uh, brake coil uh, as you as you can see here the wire is coming from this part so this is actually the coil of the brake okay uh, and this black this black part is actually the stationary uh, plate uh, made up of carbon uh, this is actually uh, pressing this is actually pressing and releasing uh, this moving plate Uh, this silver this silver plate is moving plate moving disc and this black plate is actually a brake plate which is made up of carbon so uh, these are the studs uh, three studs to uh, use to uh, setting the uh, um, brake spaces so all all three sides all 360 degree must have to be the to be on the same uh, distance uh, same spaces to work properly as you can see here uh, there is a little spring over here and this is the big spring so when we uh, when we adjust these strut it actually uh, hold this spring up and down move this spring up and down and uh, and apply tension or reduce tension to this uh, brake to this uh, to this stationary plate which uh, which uh, this this spring is used to again push this plate to the uh, rotating plate so now i will uh, latching this uh, coil by supplying the 220 volt Uh, you will uh, feel the sound of the brake latching this there it is and dislatch latch and dislatch uh, sometimes uh, during service or during the maintenance uh, you must have to check this stationary black uh, brake uh, plate so uh, if you will if you will touch it or you will rub it with your finger then if there is uh, if there is carbon then this means that the uh, setting of this spring or uh, any of the stud is not proper 
due to which it is rubbing the station it is rubbing the uh, rotating uh, plate and creating the uh, carbon particles on the brake so this is uh, all about brake parts now i will show you the voltage voltage of the brake here it is uh, i am going to lash the brake here it is uh, i have uh, put my multimeter on the dc voltage and as you can see here the red and blue is the total coil is the total coil see which is frictional plus accelerating coil uh, which get latch uh, after 120 millisecond it is getting 88 volt dc and we have seen in our previous video that this rectifier is providing 96 volt if we supply uh, 220 volt uh, on the input so uh, what are the uh, accelerating coil accelerating coil is getting 13 volt actually it should not get any voltage but uh, due to the uh, coil it is getting the uh, uh, it is getting 13 volt and this is the full coil this is getting 88 volt i have checked uh, without the load uh, then it is showing it was showing 100 volt here so after getting load it is uh, dropping some voltage uh, this rectifier is also fine there is no problem on this rectifier so in this way you can uh, check your rectifier and uh, setting the brake of the SEW thank you